thank you very much for being here. Leland Birch wrote a book uh, within the last year or two, and it's entitled Greer, South Carolina, the Center of the Universe. And I'm telling you, today, Greer, South Carolina is the center of the universe, and Greenville Technical College is the center of the universe. And thank you so much for joining us. We're pleased to have each and every one of you. There are a few particular people I do want to recognize uh, from the office of Senator Tim Scott. Uh, we have Seth Blanton, uh, Sid Cates from Greenville County Council, Reno Deaton from Dr Greer Development Council, Josh Dix from the office of Congressman Trey Gowdy, Ed Driggers, City Manager, City of Greer. We've also got Fred Payne from Greenville County Council, Margaret Stegall from the office of Senator Tim Scott. Uh, I've got Tim Reed, uh, the chair of the Greenville Tech Foundation, and my boss is somewhere here, so I always want to give him a thumbs up. Uh, Coleman Schaus and Ken Sutherland from the Greenville Technical College Area Commission are here, our, our governing body. Uh, Lieutenant Governor Nick Theodore is here. Nick, thank you for being here. And want to also recognize uh, Gene Greer right back here, our campus director. And uh, Gene Greer will no longer be the campus director of the Greer campus. So you see she's been uh, spreading this fiction around that the campus was named after her. <laughs> and after today, she's not going to be able to make that claim any longer, as you will, will see. So it's, it, it's a, a wonderful day. The Bensons are going to be introduced in a little bit. Uh, so I will not introduce the Bensons yet, but we sure are delighted to be here with them. I'd like to introduce Dr. Keith Miller, the president of Greenville Technical College. Please give him a welcome. Morning. Morning. You know, it may be raining outside, but the sun is still shining in here. I can feel it. <laughs> Absolutely, and, and you'll feel it too um, after I get through some of my remarks. You know, we're here today to make a, an outstanding announcement from some, about an outstanding individual such as Jim and Evelyn Benson. Jim Benson, and a lot of you may know um, this background and this story, but Jim is certainly a definition of a self-made man. You know, at age 17, Jim and a partner, and his partner bought a truck and went to Pennsylvania and bought some used cars, brought them back to Greer to sell. I never really asked him why Pennsylvania. Maybe he'll share that when he comes up or earlier. Nonetheless, the point is he had a lot of success because in 1964, 1964 Chrysler offered him a local franchise. You might say from there, the rest is history because he's been hugely successful. As a matter of fact, celebrating 50 years in business, Jim has taken that one dealership in 1964 to an automotive group with not, which now includes four dealerships in Greer and Easley with three more run by his son in Spartanburg. So you can see what I mean when I say self-made man. He truly pulled himself up literally as a teenager and, and became very successful at what he does today. Jim recognizes the support over those 50 years that he received from the Greer community and many, many of you to become successful today. Because of that success, because of his desire, his desire and the desire of Evelyn to give back, we are here to announce the largest, the largest cash gift in the history of Greenville Tech and the Greenville Tech Foundation.
As I indicated, this is the largest cash gift in the history of Greenville Tech Foundation, so we are very appreciative. This gift certainly will help this campus grow, help this campus serve the Greer community and other surrounding communities. And, and as I've told Jim and Evelyn, it's, it's hard to put in words how many lives they've already touched and how many lives this gift will help us to continue to touch. In recognition of this incredible contribution, the Greer campus will now be named the Benson campus. Sh sorry, Gene. <laughs> And on the Benson campus, the building right to my right will have the name of Evelyn and Jim Benson. Once again, thank you very much for your contribution. I guess what I want to emphasize is what Jim and Evelyn represent. And what they represent is people that have worked hard throughout their life and become successful but they haven't forgot about where they started and, and the people that helped them become successful. And, and so they think about the Greer community, they think about Greenville Technical College, because certainly Jim will tell you about the impact that the many programs at Greenville Tech has had on his business and, and the many graduates that work at, at many of his auto dealerships. But the other thing that we should remember is they remember where they came from and what it took to get to where they are today and that they're always willing to give back. And that's what we're recognizing in addition to the $3 million. Thank you again. We do appreciate it. Thank you, Dr. Miller. I'm Les Gardner. I'm the uh, development director at the Greenville Tech Foundation. When I started working at the foundation 11 years ago, I had been selling for about three decades. Now you math wizards out there will be doing the math and realize the gray is not premature. <laughs> My boss at that time, Fred Payne, said he felt those skills and years of experience would be helpful. Fred also said I would find there are differences. One of the biggest and most rewarding would be in the attitudes of those I encountered who became supporters, financial supporters of the students and faculty at Greenville Technical College. I was open to experiencing that, but the cynical part of me also showed up. About three years later, I met Jim Benson. Almost from the start, I felt that Jim might be a great example of that unique attitude that Fred had told me to expect. Jim agreed to chair a campaign to raise funds for the Greer campus a number of years ago. Now Fred and I, being the guys who like to win, had set a goal of $30,000. We thought that was a good sum that would have given needed help to the campus and to some students. When we sat down with Jim to discuss the goal, he chuckled. And he said, Greer can do better. Mark Owens, note that. He further said, I'll put $100,000 on the table as a challenge to match every dollar we raise from this community. With Jim's challenge, a lot of Jim's time spent in making connections and some fantastic assistance from the community, we succeeded in raising better than $210,000. In the years that followed, Jim has been a constant supporter of the students at Greenville Tech. And when you ask him why, his response is always in so many words, because they need it, and I'm blessed to be able to do it. Jim is one of those unsung heroes who helps the community and individuals in so many ways, so often, never seeking recognition for doing so. Over the years, we've had conversations at coffee, at lunch, and in Lewis's diner over a Coke. 
Some of you know where Lewis's diner is. Where Jim was able to sincerely and humbly tell stories of people in difficulty, people he met on the street, people who were his employees, friends, people served by other agencies, people who had difficulty and how, without asking, he helped them. Often, they didn't ask him. He just reached out and helped them. Look around the community we call Greer. Talk with those in helping agencies, and you'll see Jim's support. You'll hear stories of Jim's generosity and concern for the well-being of others. The clock at Main and Poinsett, located in the heart of Greer. The annual car show, classic car show, that supports Greer Community Ministries. Use of his auto museum for fundraising and gatherings of community organizations. The Partnership for Tomorrow, Victor United Methodist Church, the church Jim attended as a child. Fred was right in telling me that the greatest reward I would receive in my work would not be the satisfaction of putting a big number on the board, ah, but in meeting some genuine people, genuine people for whom success meant an opportunity to sincerely assist others. Jim Benson surely is one of those people. Today we celebrate with a big thank you for a gift that enables us to make changes that will assure we, Greenville Tech, are able to meet the changing needs of our changing community. One thing we pray doesn't change is the attitude that Jim learned in those days at the little Mill Village Methodist Church. An attitude contained in words from John Wesley, the founder of the church, do all the good you can, by all the means you can, in all the places you can, to all the people you can, as long as you ever can. It's my sincere pleasure today to introduce the man who learned that lesson very well, our friend Jim Benson. I tell you, I don't know what to say to that, Les. Wow. <laughs> when you speak it, I was trying to read between the lines. Does that mean you're going to buy your next new car for me? <laughs> <laughs> that little Mazda Miata would look good on my front line. <laughs> Make some kid a good little car. <laughs> I also appreciate your nice remarks, Keith. I also appreciate the Greenville Foundation Board being here today. Uh, the Greenville Area Tech Commission being here. Thank you so much for coming. My family appreciates it so much. And I'd like to introduce my beautiful wife, Evelyn. <laughs> my, uh, my daughter, Lisa, my son, Tony, and my son-in-law. Why don't y'all stand? <laughs> Thank you so much. I love Greenville Technical College for the work that they do. Greenville Tech is one of the Greenville County's greatest assets. Greenville County takes these kids for whatever reason that can't get in Clemson or Carolina and they offer them a great education. But every kid doesn't need an academic education and Greenville Tech does a great job at this too, teaching them the job skills that they need to go out into the world and earn a good living and they even brought, start their own business if they want to. Our dealership benefits greatly from Greenville Tech programs. Each year we bring in technicians who have been trained by Greenville Tech, and we put them with our best technicians. We continue that training and get them the knowledge that they need on our new products. Within a couple of years, these kids will be making 50 to 60,000 a year. We firmly believe that a properly trained workforce is the greatest asset of any business. I'd like to see more business people who benefit from what Greenville Tech 
does step up to the plate and help Greenville Tech financially. Greer is one of the fastest growing cities in the state of South Carolina, thanks to our great Mayor Rick Dana. BMW continues to grow, and the new inland port is going to put us on the map. Greer will continue to grow over the next 10 years, and it's going to put a great demand on this campus to be ready for the workforce that we're going to need for the future. I believe the Greenville Tech Foundation will be good stewards of this gift, and they'll spend it wisely. When Evelyn and I, or our children, or our grandchildren pass by this campus, we're going to be so proud that the future of this campus is going to be connected to our family. Gray will take Benson Campus. Thank you so much. Evelyn, Jim, thank you so very much for all you've done. Thank you to your family also. Thanks to all of you who have been here. And please linger. We've got some refreshments. They were made by a local Greer restaurant, so it's home cooking. So please stay around and enjoy the refreshments. And thank you very much for being with us. Thank you.